Welcome to the last and final component of Langchain called Agents and Tools. You know that moment when you hear AI agents and you think that it's going to be super complicated. I felt the same way when I started it, but here's the thing. It is actually much more simpler than it sounds. Okay. And by the end of the section, you'll be wondering why were you even worrying so much. You can think of agents as the problem solvers of the AI world. Agents are capable of thinking on their own. So in other words, it's AI that can make autonomous decisions. We learned about chains and drags, right? They follow our specific instruction, but agents, they actually take it a step further. They can decide for themselves what steps to take on their own. If that sounds too complex to understand, don't worry, we are going to be starting from the basics. We will break down what agents really are, why they are such a game changer and how they solve real world problems. So no complex words, no confusing concepts, just straightforward explanations that will make you say, oh, that's what it means. Okay, great. Let's get started with the fundamental question, what exactly are agents? Think of agents as AI decision makers that can pick the right tool for the job without being told what to use. Just like a chef who knows when to use a knife, whisk or the oven to create a perfect dish, an AI agent can decide when to browse the internet or when to use a calculator or when to make an API call to the database. So right here, we notice this keyword tools, right? So what are these tools? Tools are specific functions that AI can use to complete tasks. Just like a chef's kitchen tools, like knife for cutting, oven for baking, blender for mixing, tools are the special abilities we give to AI agents. Okay, so just like giving a calculator tool or a search engine tool or a calendar tool, right? Tools like perplexity and a lot of other tool, I mean, applications are built using tools only. All right. So now you somewhat must have an idea why we might want to use agents, right? So basically agents help language models decide what actions to take when solving a problem. They choose the right tools at the right time without us telling them which tool to use. So let's look at a very simple example of using tools. If I ask an AI agent, what is the weather in Paris plus five? It gets really interesting. The AI agent isn't just randomly picking tools. It is actually thinking through the process, kind of like a detective solving a case. Firstly, the agent saw two parts to the problem, finding weather and doing math. It knows to get the weather first because you can't add five to something that you don't know yet. Then it uses the calculator tool to add five. But you might ask, how does the agent know what to do first and what to do second? This is where the concept of react comes in. This is one of the best patterns in AI today to build agents. And by react, I don't mean the front end framework. We're talking in terms of AI terms. It stands for reasoning plus acting. So this is basically a concept that mimics how human beings think. So if we look at a problem, what do we do first? We first think about the problem, right? And that's when that's exactly what agents do as well. Think, right? So the second step is act and the agent can act or perform the task using various tools available. And then the third step is observe what happened. And lastly, repeat the entire process if needed. So let's actually see how our Paris weather equation looks like with React. So first it's going to think, so the thought comes first, I need to find the Paris temperature first. So the action is going to be uses weather, right? It uses the weather API. And secondly, the action is going to be uses weather API. And the third step is the API observation. It's 20 degrees Celsius in Paris. And then again, the thought happens, right? It is come coming back. It's, it's cycling. So the thought happens. It now says, now I can add five to this. And then the action again happens, uses calculator. And then the final answer is going to be 25 degrees Celsius. Think of it like solving a puzzle. Instead of just showing the finished picture, React lets us see each piece being put into place. This is a very small example. Imagine I ask you a much more complicated question like, 
Should I pack an umbrella for my trip to London next week? And what restaurants should I book? You can imagine that this is a multi-step problem, right? And our AI agent might loop through the thought, action, observation, repeat, thought, action, observation, this thing multiple times to solve this problem. I hope you're starting to somewhat get a picture of uh, what agents and tools are. If you don't understand it completely yet, don't worry. In the next section, we are going to be building custom agents from scratch and we are going to be looking at a lot of examples as well. So I'll see you there.